Okay, let's do a little walkthrough of our digger here. We're kind of got it together where we can show you how the thing runs. Um, so let's start off over here. Let me walk this way. So this is our power unit. It's got a hydraulic tank. This is one of those little um, military motors. It's a, a 2A42. So it's a 42 cubic inch military motor. And uh, we basically have taken the exhaust. You can see the exhaust right down here. We've taken it up through a flex pipe and we've got it temporarily running and it goes through a muffler that we got off of a snowmobile. And then on the back side here, we've got a little uh, hydraulic pump right in here attached to the output shaft of the motor through a uh, Lovejoy coupler. And then it goes through our pressure relief. We've got a couple valves or pressure val um, gauges under here. One is for our return line through the filter and the other is for our pressure um, underneath here. So this is our, our pressure relief valve set to like 15 or 1700 PSI. And uh, so we can get under here. So we've got a f uh, pressure gauge. This is our high side pressure gauge and our return pressure gauge so we can see if our filter is plugged. So off of this, this is our hydraulic lines then. And uh, we've got like basically if I follow these around here. So we've got them running around. Kind of a mess right now. But they end up running all the way out to the digger. And then on our digger, follow the pressure lines. So this is our pressure lines right here. They come down and they go to a, uh, a proportional manifold that I had designed and built. So it's got uh, six channels, 12 solenoid, six channels. Uh, if I swing over here, go underneath it. So, so there's our one, two, three, four, five, six, six solenoids on our line here. Each one's got a set of lines that come out the bottom. Each of these go out to different uh, uh, actuators on the digger. So like this one here is our hydraulic ram for the boom, hydraulic ram for the arm, hydraulic ram for the, the bucket, make the bucket curl, and then follow it back this way. We have a little uh, hydraulic motor running uh, a chain drive to our two tracks. So basically we have two snowmobile tracks here. All the under carriage right out of a snowmobile for them. And here we have one more hydraulic ram that's hooked up to uh, the swing joint. So that's our pivot point in the middle. And it pivots in the middle there. I'm still working on this one. I got to get the sensor on it. So, so we've got feedback on all of these so basically what I've done here is this is, um, well, let me, let me go grab one that's not installed here. So this is a, uh, a basic fuel gauge. It goes inside of a fuel tank. It's got a float on it, a magnetic float. So as the float moves up and down the tube, it changes the resistance that goes out typically to a fuel gauge. So in our case, we're taking the change in resistance and we're running it to our little control module and it can detect where this magnet is. Well, what we did is we've got um, that same sensor and we've got this pipe that's hooked up to our ram. So as our ram extends and retracts, it's got a hold of the magnet right here. I don't know if it's going to focus in that close or not. Let me see here. So it's attached. The, the magnet is right here. So as the ram moves up and down, it holds that magnet and it moves the magnet up and down the tube. So we get feedback of where each of the arm positions are. Then underneath here we have a camera. So this camera is looking right down at the bucket as we're digging. So we can see if we have any debris buildup in our bucket and how materials moving in and out of it. In case the uh, bucket gets clogged up with material, then we've got this, when you 
open the bucket up all the way, the linkage hits these two little pins right here and it forces this open. And when this opens up, there's a, uh, a hole in here that breaks the vacuum and allows water to go in through this hole instead. And that should let anything that's plugged down inside of here out. So down inside of this, this filters all of our material as we're digging. So only material that can fit through this opening, which is two inch minus, that's two inches across, only two inch minus can get through this and it goes to either end. This is a T-shape in the middle of here and the end of it doesn't go all the way across. So there's an opening at the end of each side of this that allows the water to go into the end of the tube and then up our arm. So we're gonna have our suction dredge hooked up right up to the top of this. So that's gonna suck the material out of the top up through our hose and attach to our suction dredge. As far as the control side of it, I have a control module that I've built inside of here. It uses MOSFET drives and it does what's called a pulse width modulation. Basically it's a fancy way of saying it controls the current variable. Uh, it, it varies the current going out to the uh, solenoids. These are proportional solenoids so the more current applied to them the more magnetism it makes and the more it moves the valve one way or the other. So it's not just on off, it's actually a variable valve. And so our control system um, comes all the way back. It comes through all of our umbilical here. So we've got uh, an eight gauge cable. So this is an eight gauge cable and then our data lines that come back. And when it comes out the end, our our data line comes through a, a coil here and it goes to another little circuit board that I've made. This circuit board uh, converts the data and adapts and reads the data from one of these um, PlayStation 2 controls. So this has two joysticks on it. Each of these joysticks operate just like a joystick of an excavator. So one of them runs your bucket and your arm and the other one runs the boom and the swing left to right. And then we've got the other four up here that control the, the tracks moving the vehicle forward and backwards. And the two other ones actually lift this uh, uh, stabilizer arm like a blade, lift it up and down. So the roll cage also is our, our lift frame so up on the top of it here we can hook up our cable up to the top up here and uh, pick the machine up from that point right there so when the machine is all the way up it can lift it up and and bring it back up to the surface so we'll slowly uh, lower it over the side and let it fall down to the bottom of the ocean all right so I guess next thing is to fire this thing up and uh, run it around a little bit let me see if I can find a spot to set the camera here. So go ahead and get our machine fired up here. And I'll turn the gas on here. Bump the stuff. So that's our power plant. So the power plant is going to be up on the. Oh, let me get this cable out. power plant is going to be up on top of the ocean, up on the uh, barge. So this is our controller. have to push the button to enable it to operate. And then it operates like a... Uh,
see the bucket when the bucket extends all the way here. It opens that valve up. Go.